What's up everybody? Welcome to today's video. Today we're exploring one of the best abandoned places in the entire world. And I mean that. The building we're in is a hotel and there's two enormous, magnificent theaters built in the 1920s. This place was magnificent. It was doing well up until 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. It was doing great. And then for some reason, um, this place just became obsolete. No one really came here anymore. It became, honestly, way too high class for the neighborhood we're in. So the clientele, the people that lived here, this type of building did not pertain to the uh, to what the area was becoming. Honestly, we're in like a pretty bad area, pretty pretty high crime area. So the the population that lived here did not really need a theater like this. Um, this place was running okay up until the 1970s, and as a last ditch effort to try to save this place, get in the last bit of revenue it could, it started airing adult films. And for a place like this, you're gonna see, it's kind of weird because this place is absolutely so magnificent, you can't even imagine like we were walking in here and just watching adult movies. I came here years ago when I documented this place, and I did not do as good as a job as I wanted to. I did not document this place to the best of my ability. A few years later, I'm back. We're gonna be here recording, documenting, for your enjoyment, for preservation purposes. If you do enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. It lets me know right away. And without further ado, let's get exploring. Okay, right now we're inside. As soon as you walk in, this is like the main lobby. Originally, you would have movie showcasings in these windows here. I think long ago, there were statues in that little spot there. But as you could see, as I get closer, it's all marble, beautiful architecture, and we haven't even entered the, the real main lobby yet. Absolutely amazing. So magnificent. They truly do not make buildings like this anymore. And it's a shame. And here's the view walking into the main theater. Over here, we have an absolutely enormous organ. That organ alone has to be probably 30 feet high. Right. On pictures and video, it just doesn't do justice about how large this location is. So I'm gonna walk down all the way to the bottom. Hopefully it does a little bit more justice than it's doing right now because being inside this giant room right now is just phenomenal. So I'm gonna walk down there.
I'm so distracted by this. I don't even see the little engravements in here. Look at this. Look at these moldings. This wraps around the entire theater. We're gonna take a break from looking at the actual theater to show you guys the projectors in here that are still left. And they are vintage and they are marvelous. I don't see a date on here, but these very well could be the original, original projectors that were here for this theater, rusting away in time. This could have been the sound Oh, we even have some more projectors, and these actually look a lot older. Yeah, look at the lenses on these things. Rusted shut. This is actually where the reels were stored. Oh wow, there's some stuff left behind inside of them. It's pretty much rusted shut. Just numbers. Feature number one. So they probably had them lined up for which was airing at what time. Right across from the projector hall, these rooms across are actually the hotel rooms. If we wanted to, we could go explore them, but they're all just empty rooms, and uh, that would mean shining my light very close to the street. And we definitely could not bring up on this place. It's a really historic place, and the sad thing is, is that they are repurposing it, but they're removing all the seats. They're pretty much removing the entire thing, and it's a shame because this is an absolute work of art. This mural is completely decaying, opposed to the opposite side, which is intact. The wall is just completely collapsing over there, just making this art turn to nothing. And we got actually the original speakers up here on the wall. Actually, they were probably not original to 1920, but added sometime in the middle. This was one water fountain here. So elegant. I don't think I've sipped water out of something that fancy my whole life, nor will I ever. You still have actually the seat covers on here, the original seat covers to protect it.
This is already sitting here, but that looks like some really old candy. Super old. Tiny size. Flavor coated gum. Don't even know what brand that is. If anyone knows, let me know. Who knows how long this was sitting on the floor here until someone put it up here on that armrest. Here we are in the middle seat. This is the point of view you would have watching a marvelous show back in the 20s, 100 years ago. Boy, have times changed. I can only imagine what 100 years from now would look like. Now this is something that I noticed while walking around this place. It's an urban legend that this place is haunted. And I don't really believe in that type of stuff by any means. Like I'm the biggest skeptic when it comes to ghostly things. I go to a lot of places, a lot of places that you would think have heavy energies there. Some places you do feel the energy inside of. But this is not one of those places, but suppo supposedly it is haunted. And no lie, as I'm walking around here, there was twice I thought I heard piano keys, just one single note, and it's the weirdest thing. It took me by surprise both times, and um, I really don't have an explanation for that. There is no piano inside here, although that would be cool. Um, I can't explain that, though. Very odd. We're going to keep checking this place out. So far, so good. Okay, now we're gonna head to the other theater that's here. Closed around the same time, opened around the same time. Opened 1922, closed 1971. Pretty much the same thing. Only bad thing is, is that that theater has no construction lights. And uh, we're just gonna have to use our light to the best of its ability to see what's left, but there's no seats. Um, so it, you know, it, it depletes a little bit out of the big open space. Anyway, it's, it's still an amazing, amazing room. We're gonna go there now. It's actually starting to rain outside.
So this is the main lobby for this theater. And as you're gonna see, all around here, there's still props left from plays and shows. Like I said, pitch dark. Just a miniature theater, basically, of the one we just went into. Just stockpiled of old stuff, old props, stage props of when this place was active. And I actually, when I said I heard some pianos, I said there wasn't a piano in here, but there's one right here. Here's a creepy stage prop, a guillotine. It doesn't even lift up anymore, but you get the gist. Check out these old record players. Well, not like the traditional record player. You just put the tape around here and here. Could be a listening device. A recorder. This looks like a cool room. Oh, it's just the bathroom. But it's actually kind of cool in here. Like, this is the room before the bathroom, and there actually used to be a fireplace here. And we got some nice furniture. Really nice old vintage stuff, and just literally thousands of feet of rugs. Let's take a look inside the bathroom, see what they were working with here. Just typical, typical stalls. We got some nice marble though between, between each one. Ooh, look at this. Sugar babies. Since this doesn't open, I'm just gonna guess that this is one of the props for the, uh, for the opera house. Pretty cool find. So you'd be on the stage acting, and this is all you would see, all these people. With the light shining, I bet you really couldn't even see anybody's faces. That's true. So it wouldn't even be that hard to perform in front of this many people, but this space alone is pretty intimidating. Right beside the stage, we have this golden, I don't know what this is, but it's labeled out one, two, three, four, five. I have no idea what that could have meant. Maybe scenes, it's like for plays, scene one, scene two. It's so small though, I don't think anybody in the audience would see it. I mean, you could be in, I've been in this place for hours so far and I feel like I'm still finding new little things, new little moldings, like check out this light here. That's in really good condition compared to the rest of the ceiling. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. An absolute marvelous, magnificent, phenomenal place. There's not enough adjectives to descri describe this theater here. 
Um, we spent like five, six hours here just filming, embracing, just taking in all the views. That's gonna do it though. I think we, we explored a bunch of it at least. Um, there is a hotel on top of this place, but it is visible for 13 stories and it's the middle of the night. We don't wanna get seen. So that's gonna end it here. It's gonna be a wrap. Uh, like I said before, this place is the epitome of human ingenuity, human art. Every little bit of detail put in this place a hundred years ago was really made to stand the test of time. Stand for decades, for multiple families, generations of families to enjoy this place for what it's worth. And uh, here it is sitting abandoned and eventually going to be completely repurposed. Whatever may happen, it's not going to look the same as what it does today or in the past. So thank you guys for coming. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a thumbs up. That lets me know right away. And subscribe for more videos preserving places like this, preserving history. And that's it. Until next time, peace out, guys.